Who? Welcome, welcome, one and all, to On the Fritz Gaming. Welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. It has certainly been a long one. Uh, I'm going to refrain from getting into too much detail because I know that momentarily I'm going to bring up the uh, Pokemon that I've caught so far, show off the roster, show off a bit of the party. Uh, we have four caught so far. Uh, we have uh, Dildile, the Raptorch, our starter for this game. Menus are a bit slow. Oh, there we are. There's Raven. I believe she was called uh, Burby. There's Catbug, the recently evolved Catbug. I uh, forget if that happened on camera or not. And then we have good old Ringo. But yes, for those of you keeping track, for those of you keeping count, um, it has been two years to the day since I last posted any content for the channel. That was due to a number of reasons. I think the main one being uh, the current coronavirus pandemic that we're still kind of living through slash battling slash trying to get over. Uh, I had a hard time believing at first, other YouTubers, when they made update videos and made comments about the whole ordeal, saying how they had lost motivation. They gained a lot of time, but they just didn't have the same motivation they once did to create content. Which you would think that if you had all this time, you know, and if you've proven that you're good at something and you're dedicated to this one cause, that you would just keep doing it. You would just keep making content. And I definitely fell within the category of people who kind of not necessarily lost interest, but just lost that motivation because it kind of felt, it felt bleak, it felt repetitive after a while. Uh, I also battled homelessness for the better part of a week, a little, little more. Um, certainly not the happiest period in my life, very stressful, very stress-inducing. Uh, thankfully, I had a nice support system in place, so didn't last very long, and I have rebounded since. I've uh, come a long way, I want to say, in the two years that it's been since I've last spoken to you guys. Uh, the channel, obviously, has not you know, seen any sort of improvement. Well, no, that, that's, that is a lie, actually, because uh, uh, thanks to my good buddy Steven. Thank you, Steven. Uh, he subscribed, contributed. He's been, he's been showing his love. He's been showing his support. And I feel like it is only fair that I relay that Steven himself um, has his own channel on Twitch, which I'm probably going to end up linking uh, in the description down below. Feel free to check him out, so much some love in return. Uh, Steven was, granted I've never said this to him uh, personally, though I really should, uh, he was really an inspiration. He was really a driving force in getting me to relaunch the channel. We met uh, at the same Mexican Grill downtown uh, where we worked. I believe he's still working there. I've since moved on to slightly greener pastures. Uh, they have they have their own uh, quirks, I guess you can call them. But yeah, but he made it work. Uh, the 9 to 5 and then the Twitch channel on top of it just building his brand, building his reputation, and he's, he's come, he's come a ways. He has certainly, uh, come a ways. I do, I do hope he gets to a point, pardon me, I do hope that he gets to a point where he's able to focus on the Twitch streams full time because he definitely, he has a knack for it. He has a talent for it. He has a passion for it. You can see it anytime he, he goes live. Uh, so just want to give a quick shout out to Steven, again, you know, you can hopefully, if I remember, uh, check out some of his stuff down below in the subscription. Subscription? Description. <laughs> there we are. Uh, I originally had a an update video, a several hour update video uh, that I was on again, off again, editing, that was just kind of gonna... Its purpose was to sort of chronicle the events between point A and point B. You know, what happened... Uh, in between the last video that I posted and now. And the more that I wrote for it and the more that I recorded for it and the more that I edited that video, 
the less it came across inspirational and emotional and the more it came off kind of spiteful to towards anyone I thought had wronged me in that time and maybe that that maybe that's just a that's just a reflection of myself and some uh, future problems that I have to work through but I eventually just decided to scrap the whole idea and decided to go ahead with Pokemon Uranium. Ahoy Trainer. Okay, so I made a few decisions regarding dialogue and text boxes uh, in, this, in this and future games. Uh, I decided that I was going to read the ones that seemed a bit more significant, a bit more story-driven, and then uh, the ones... Maybe some of the less important ones, you know, the ones that usually come from NPCs just kind of sitting about their home. Uh, I'd maybe just sort of reference and talk about if it was truly intriguing. Forming a temporary bond between us. He is... he is a Pokemon Ranger. I, I should probably stress that, uh, much like in previous parts, I'm not doing this commentary live. Uh, this episode was actually recorded sometime in March of 2020, and I'm only now getting around to... I don't want to say make sense of it, but commentate over it. We're different from trainers in that way. Be sure to respect nature. Remember, you can always call on a ranger. Okay, that's actually a really nice callback. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, there's a line of games on the Nintendo DS, the Pokemon Ranger series. Really good, really good series. I do recommend uh, checking it out if you can find the, if you can find copies of the game pretty, pretty cheaply. And they should be pretty cheap, actually, because they're not main series titles. Uh, but one of the big points of being a Pokemon Ranger is, obviously, you have your Pokemon partners, but it's kind of, it's a more temporary partnership. It would be as if uh, catching a Pokemon, they can cut down a tree, and then after they've cut down that tree, they just kind of go about their merry way. So very so very different, I should say, from a Pokemon trainer in that regard. Yeah, it's very, it's actually very interesting to see uh, the creators of this game bring attention to that trainer class because the the Pokemon Rangers have appeared in main series titles, but just never to the same effect. Um, just never to the same effect that they do in their own games. I guess much like I guess much like police officers in that way that you would expect to have more of a a greater presence in the game. They just they're just another face to beat at the end of the day. Well, which is which is a bit unfortunate because as you saw from that brief cutscene there, they do they do have a great bit to offer. And then now we are just surveying the town. This is... Honestly, RPGs are my kryptonite for the sole reason that I cannot help myself but to check every nook and cranny. Uh, which is why I've made a note to myself to make these videos longer. Just because I spend so much time exploring to the point where it feels like nothing really is being accomplished. Uh, so instead of, say, 20-minute parts, 20-minute editions of uh, Uranium, Fusion Generation, and the like, you can expect something in the ballpark of 30 to 45 minutes. I think part of the reason as well that it doesn't feel like we accomplish a lot is just because of how slow Pokemon Uranium runs at times. I know that the creators were stunted. Uh, they had the plug pulled on the project before they could really see it to completion. And I think maybe where they fell short was in some of the optimization because the sprite works lovely, this town is lovely, the music is a jam and a half, but just how quickly some things, just how quickly, say, you can navigate the menus or navigate text boxes or just navigate on your feet, uh, there's definitely some start and stop and some stuttering here and there. Which, which is unfortunate, because honestly, I think it's it's the performance quality of this of this game that really puts a damper on my mood whenever I have to play it. Because I hear it's good. 
I hear it's really good. It's a, it's a story-driven game, much like Black and White before it. So I'm gonna I'm trying my best to give this game the benefit of the doubt. Okay, that's good to know. So I I maybe have been butchering the name of that Pokemon for since episode one. Okay, so that is hopefully that is dis, that is definitive proof that is pronounced Chinmunk. Hopefully, I hope I don't I hope I don't forget this later. But yeah, like I said, I really like how the game looks. Um, it's just a shame that it doesn't run quite the way that I expect it to. Then again, maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong. So I guess if you guys have any, if you guys have any sort of suggestions, I would be more than happy to hear it. Uh, granted, if it's going to entail me having to delete the save file and start over, uh, maybe I'll wait until a future playthrough of it. Did I just buy 10 Pokeballs and not receive a Premier Ball in return? Interesting. Ooh, so something else I want to bring up. Has nothing to do with this conversation at hand. Oh, we got a tract. That's nice. Something else I wanted to bring up. So I forget, Grant, because it's been two years, uh, whether Catbug evolved on screen. I genuinely forget, and I mentioned that I have no real interest in going back to the first four parts. Granted, I know immediately by doing so. I think it's just a matter of, obviously I'm not to the point yet that Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and the like are. Obviously they, I don't want to say they regret their earliest installments on their channel, but they definitely have come a long way between then and now. And I, again, I'm only, I'm only two years removed from that phase of my channel. Oh, we found the we found the name writer. Anyway, like I was saying, we're only two years removed from that phase of my channel. I am not, I'm not willing at this time to open up that can of worms. I am not. I am not quite ready to endure that that cringe fest. So I'm just going to I am just going to remain ignorant at the at the risk and at the cost of sounding like a broken record. Cuz for instance, I don't think I've ever gone into detail, explicit detail why I named him Steve. I generally I genuinely looked at his striped shirt on the character select screen and I said that's that's Steve right there. That's Steve from Blue's Clues. And funny enough, I na and funny enough, I had that realization and I named him that for Steve resurfaced on the internet. I just realized that. I'm not calling myself a fortune teller, I'm just I find it funny how I did that. And then funny enough that, that same person resurfaced in such a big way shortly thereafter. What's happening at the sub what I guess I guess it wasn't important. I guess I didn't think it was important then. <laughs> um, but anyway, those changes that I mentioned, such as making these videos longer, that actually will not go into effect until I want to say maybe around part 10 of the series, just because I have, I have a few more episodes already pre-filmed. So you can expect a few more videos similar to this format before those changes actually get implemented. But yeah, so I'm, I'm grateful for learning how to pronounce Chin Monk. Now if I can just learn how to pronounce... Because I want to say it's either... It's, it's one of four variations. It's either No Touch, Now Touch, Now Talk, or No Talk. I've narrowed it down to those four possibilities. That, I guess, is the one criticism with Pokemon never hiring any voice acting talent is it's pretty much up to your interpretation how certain things are pronounced. 
Like, this is how we get into fights about how stuff like Arceus is pronounced. Because no one ever... No one's ever said it in games. So there's never been a definitive way of saying it. Also, from the outside, I thought this was the gym. But it looks to be... It looks to be the ranger station. Like I said, I am totally down for the greater... What's the word I'm looking for? I am very much down with the higher, with the bigger profile that the creators have given these guys. Absolutely. Ooh, I suppose it begs the question. If the Pokemon Company is willing to remake slash remaster uh, Pokemon Red and Blue Rescue Team, yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before they do this, give the same treatment to Pokemon Explorers of Sky, Space, and Time, as well as the Pokemon Ranger series. Like, I think there's money to be had there. Why am I... Why have I not left yet? I don't think she said anything that was that cryptic that would warrant me saying... Okay, there I go. Jesus, had me worried there past me. Actually, maybe that's not as much of a possibility, given that the whole purpose of... Okay, there's the gym. Oh, you are? Perhaps... Oh, you must be like me. I'm her biggest fan. Oh, but she's hardly ever at the gym. You can probably find her at home. I can't go there because of her reasons. But you still can. Ob Obtain Maria's key. Oh my god, that's right. Keep it, I made copies. Oh my god, that's right. I completely forgot this. Yeah, even past me is shook and needed a moment to, for it to sink in. Oh my god. I completely forgot about this part. Oh, and then because we can't and because we can't talk to the policeman, we can't we don't know what the problem is or what the holdup is. God, I I must, I must have blocked that out of my memory. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm down for a, a darker story in a Pokemon game, but, gee, that just has so many implications. I can. The be opening once it's open, I can finally leave this city. That's also kind of cryptic. That could also have a few different meanings. Why does she want to get out? Why, what don't I know? Is she also bothered by the, by Maria's fan? Oh, jeez. Do I... Do I save here? I... I did. I saved here because I was full-on expecting a fight. I expected to walk in and for there to be a gun pointed at my face for breaking and entering. Oh, God. Here goes nothing. And she's sleeping! Oh, my God! <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in my house? You can't just barge in on people like that. Especially when they lock their doors. How did you get in? You have a copy of my house key. Give me that. Yeah, no, Steve. Give that Give that to her now. Where'd you get this from? Him again. This, is, this has been a recurring thing. This has been a recurring thing. I mean, I was looking for a gym battle. Yeah, I guess there's the larger question of why you weren't at, you know, your place of work. I presume it's midday. It's not dark out. Bye, Maria. This whole situation, man. Maria's autobiography, The Road to the Championship. Oh, that's right as well. So Maria... A <laughs> I am no saint. Let me stress that. I am no saint. Uh, that's right. Maria was the champion at at some point. But then she retired to being the first gym leader. Which is an interesting place because even Blue got to be the eighth gym leader. Look, I've told you before, I'm not the champion anymore, alright? I'm retired. I'm just a gym leader now. But Maria... You were the strongest trainer in Tandor. 
I forgot that was this godforsaken <laughs> region's name. I just want to lead a normal life, run my gym, and not have to deal with creeps like you. Seriously, is it not okay to make copies of people's house keys? I'm calling the rangers. Oh wow, even the rangers have more seniority in this than the police do. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm normally not an angry person, you know? I wouldn't know. But once you win the Tandor Championship, you can never escape it. Everyone knows your name. Sometimes it's enough to make me want to skip town. But then, who would run the gym? Speaking of that, I know you're here for the normal badge. I've made you wait long enough. Come see me inside and show me your skills. Ooh. Howdy, trainers. This is your first gym challenge. You must be excited. I'm called the gym guy. Maria here is a normal type expert. Normal type moves aren't super effective against any other type, but have very few weaknesses. Fighting types like Mankey are strong here, and steel types like Orchings. Orchings. Orchings is the grass cat. The grass cat has been steel all this time? Why is the grass cat steel? Also, Pokemon's coming out with their own grass cat. And they knew about this game. I need, I need, <laughs> I need to lie down. I need to sit down. Oh, God. 